use okay so my script dot rahul to my script dot sh similarly my script raw i can't i can't really use a same name because uh, modi and i'm going to say my script my script uh, two because i can't use the same name right say two dot sh so ll you can see this is how it should be so when it is it is uh, something like a uh, more like a orthodox scripting or it's like a what i can say like a way of doing like if somebody sees dot sh they can assume that it's a shell script if you give gandhi rahul gandhi and modi nobody will understand it's a shell script unless they go inside and check it out okay good so this is how we're going to do the shell script now how exactly we're going to run this shell script we can do in two different ways one is as i said simply i can actually do my script to dot sh this is one way or i can use bash my script to this is a you can also do this way as well okay so there are two ways we can do that one most probably 99 percent guys you are going to use this one as well but the reason why i told you this one maybe in some scripts right people might use bash and then then you should not get confused thinking that okay what is bash why exactly it is doing so it is a it, bash is executor which is executing actually i think we can also use sh and uh, my script actually uh we can also do the yes, normal shell actually we have different types of shell bond shell con shell or something like that most probably we use the bash shell okay good so next is let's we want to create some um, things actually inside uh, a, a sample script actually a sample script which will show who is the current login user actually okay now if i want to run a script for example the script name is uh, who is who is running this script big name so the script name is who is running or simply i'm going to put who is running dot sh and i'm going to use not nano i'm going to use vim because uh see i'm a i'm a fan of nano guys i will be very honest with you <laughs> i'm not a big fan of vim it's not like the again i'm again is the vim or something uh from the starting itself i was have some sort of uh, uh easiness towards the nano but maybe some of you guys are are using the vim actually there are two editors which we can use to uh to edit the script actually so you can use nano or you can use vim so the reason the the, the difference is if you are using a red hat linux right uh then the nano is not default installed you need to install the nano are any of you guys working on a red hat linux by the way if it's so is the is the nano default installed guys in that one no uh, my answer is no no right yeah, yeah we need to install the package right correct yeah yeah so but nano is uh, default works in ubuntu but i think but in red hat linux vim default works right va and vim yeah older older version of red hat doesn't even have vim but the newer version has vim but the older has va editor then va is yeah there. va is default for all uh, yes yeah. So you can use VI, Vim, or VI. Either way is fine. Okay. You can also simply VI editor, hit enter, it will open. But uh, if you want to insert it, press I to insert. Okay. And you can create as usual the script actually. So bin bash, bash, bin bash. Okay. Now what I want to do, I want to simply find out who is running this script. Okay. Now how I can do that, I can simply give something like this who am i what exactly who am i if i go and type who am i you might be thinking this is a silly script i always believe in start at one and then go to 100 you don't start at 100 and especially in scripting yeah so you start with the basics i don't want to show you like what is vmv what is copy what is rmdir i don't believe in that guys if you are working and introducing all to the commands then easy to learn okay so if i type who am i it will give you who is the person who logged in so what i'm going to do i'm creating a script bin dot bash and what i did was if you see i just give who am i and i want to save that one if it is nano it is control o enter now here i'm going to press escape now the moment i press escape insert is gone give colon w for saving q for exit yeah hit enter done now if you see 
who is running this script okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to move the script see earlier i made a copy now i'm moving the script totally to temp folder because if i do it in root folder ubuntu cannot run this one now if i type ll temp right then you can see who is running don't have any execution permission that's why it is still in yellow so what i do i give ch mod triple seven temp who is running now if you see who is running is also it's having execution permission let's do one thing let's run using the if i go using this one so see it is showing for ubuntu as well i'll say who is running okay so looks like uh, i didn't properly created the script so hold on i need to assign it a variable looks like i forgot it so what i'm going to do is nano okay nano sorry okay nano temp what the mistake i did was here i should have uh i should simply give user user and we assign this to this one and then i'll say echo i'm going to explain this one don't worry guys dollar user okay let's see what will happen yeah let's run it again from ubuntu if i run see it is showing as ubuntu but i i really want to show something else i want to have like the current user is ubuntu that's what i want to get it okay i'll do that one what i'll do i'll go into edit it so i'm going to nano this one and i'm going to say something echo the sorry the script is executed by i'm going to give something like this yeah is it works or not we'll check it out so be ready for the errors if the errors comes you can learn a lot so if i run it say the script is executed by ubuntu fine let me do this something like this if i do sudo that means i'm telling whenever let me tell you in linux if you give sudo what you are telling is execute with the root permissions execute with the root permissions now sudo and then i'm going to say now if you see if you check it out the script is executed by root check it out guys earlier if i don't use the sudo it is giving the script is executed by ubuntu but when i give a sudo it is saying root why because when i use sudo it runs with the administration permissions root permissions that's why you'll get like this okay so this is a simple script actually what it is saying it will give you who actually logged in now this is the time actually okay we can we can we can analyze this script what exactly happened in this script? what are the different options we used in script okay i'm going to go nano first i'm going to temp nano who is running okay what exactly there in the script guys so let's go one by one the first one is shebang you need to give the script otherwise uh, uh, i don't think it will run actually it will run sometimes you will get errors actually now what are the things we did these two lines are pretty important there are a lot of things in this one which you're going to use again and again and again now first we're going to talk about echo echo is similar to if you know c language printf okay so if you know about python it's print if you know about uh, powershell scripting it's write host or write output okay so something like what is an echo if you get if you execute or if you know node.js it is console.log so what, what exactly is echo echo is something which will throw at you if uh, uh, like uh, it is used for your debugging and everything okay so it will just replies whatever you want to reply okay so if you want to reply output it will reply the output simply if i say you can type normally like this also so for example if i type echo this is devops it will just reply it whatever you give it will reply it 
one of the good thing is it will actually it can also actually substitute the variables actually that means if i give uh, for example something like this if i give something like this okay so this this is giving this is devops ubuntu how exactly it came to know so the echo knows that if i give a dollar and then a bracket and then something inside it knows that i need to execute that actually okay and it know that it's executed and it will execute it so echo is something which will give you the response it for you there is something called as return guys return so don't about worry about this return return is different versus echo both are different return is different echo is different return we use in functions which we're going to talk at the last classes so don't worry and maybe next week so don't worry about that echo is something like if you want to troubleshoot we use the echo actually okay something like let me show it to you how exactly i can use echo uh imagine i want to run a script for example uh I, I want to print one to ten i want to check at every every step actually so what i can do is i can do something like echo this is step step one step uh, one like this i can have multiple steps actually so what i can do i can use some something this this type of steps so in this step i'm going to give a step one step two step three if you're running a script right if you have some error right you can it will throw it out okay so you can say prove it to me how exactly this works so right now if i just go copy this and run it right uh, if i run this It'll say step one two three four five that's it now what i want is actually so i want to debug at every level okay so i'm going to give ls hyphen al ls hyphen ll ls hyphen x or x ls hyphen x i know that the command is not there so ls hyphen yz something like this okay i save it now what will happen if i run like this right so i can debug it see first it's it has it has this is step one and after that it this is step two and at step three it will give and after step three so it gave everything and step four it is given error check it out it is saying that invalid option hyphen y so like this what you can do now i know that the problem is coming at step four okay and finally i have step five so like this what we can do we can use the echo statements to find out where exactly the problem is coming okay so echo is something like when you are executing some script so i am going to run a script actually don't worry about the script i'm going to run a simple script actually okay so <clears throat> if i say um uh, let let me put something like this i'm going to run a while script <coughs> while true do okay i'll say ping www.google.com okay i'm going to give done actually uh, maybe it will fail actually if i try to run it see now what i want is so i'm not able to stop <laughs> now i want to get the ping count actually so what i'm going to do is here so right now it is pinging right so i want to have something like i'm going to give sleep uh two yes you wait for two seconds okay so and then so i'm going to give i'm going to run it again i think it will fail actually yeah every two seconds it is pinging check it out guys let me make it five or uh, two seconds is very too much let me make it three seconds i want to show you Arshay, you, you don't even need the test just three should work 
uh, uh, take it as a what will say uh, habit of uh, bad habit so it's it's not working see that's the problem is it's, it's less than three right so it is every second it is pinging the reason it is it is actually looping actually so is it because the, the start it is starting actually it's keep on pinging it is not going to the second step okay so it's not taking three seconds right okay let me increase it to five seconds you want to give five right okay, you don't want to yes okay but the problem is it is not taking the five second gap actually it is immediately pinging so what i can do is here hmm, okay let's do one thing i'm going to give something like this echo i'm going to give echo hello how are you okay so let's try give it and uh, try to run it now it will wait for five seconds and then what it will do is it will keep on keep on coming actually okay now what will happen here is how can i can use echo here echo what exactly is echo is doing echo will keep on throw, throwing you uh whatever is there here now i can what i can also do is the best thing about the echo is you can also include the variables inside okay so that means if i go here give for example um let me give date let's see what will happen let's see if the date works or not <laughs> date works okay seconds is giving 10 right okay let's try to execute this huh? now hello how are you it is giving the date right after five seconds check it out the date I mean, see the timing is changing check it out so 18 23 28 33 like that you should come so what exactly is happening the echo is actually giving you whatever you want to give right when the script is executing you want to have this type of uh, output right you can use this one what i can do i can also do a lot of when you when you are next level right if you go and do the lot of scripting right we use echo all the way but but let me tell you we don't use echo everywhere normally what is why exactly we are using the echo when you are creating the scripts right for debugging and everything if everything is fine right then we use the yeah, I mean until until we get a proper script we're going to use the echo so once everything is fine right we use functions and everything we there is not mandatory unless you want some output right you really don't need to give the echo actually okay you will understand more about this echo as well as in um, uh, return actually return when we are teaching about the programming I mean, programming means uh, the functions actually shell, uh, shell script functions we're going to go deep into that one during that time i'm going to explain the difference between echo as well as the return return is something you're not going to get anything out of that one the function will get a return but just imagine you're going to use echo all the times in the shell script why because you you want to have a output actually so for example if you deploy a machine if you deploy a machine and you want the machine name as output one of the best example let me tell you okay so uh, what you can do is if you are using amazon linux right i think in metadata let me if i type curl http in amazon web services as well as you have in azure as well 254.169.254 latest meta hyphen data okay in this one and i want to have the public ipv4 okay so what i can do is i can run a script in such a way i want to all have all the details dis, uh, displayed for my machine so what i can do i can actually nano hello.sh see now see this one every time i want to give the permissions it's a headache for me what is this man i need to create the main file and then i need to give the permissions what i do i pipe it that means i'm going to create a nano hello and give i'll say chmod 700 hello.sh so what will happen in the first step it will uh, it will allow you to create a machine one uh, sorry allow to create a file in the file we're going to put all our scripts and everything and then after that it's going to do a ch mod and change the permission okay hit the enter i'm going to give bin bash 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a curl something like this. 